Hi everyone, this is Catalina with another weekly fairy oracle for those of the YouTube community who like to listen to it and the Angels and Warriors fans. This one is for the week of the 21st of February until the 27th. And until we start with picking a card for this week, let me show you another lovely fairy card that I received in my mailbox. Let's see if you can see it like this. Yes. Well, I received this in my mailbox yesterday and it's actually some fan mail I received, which was rather fun from somebody who's watching this YouTube channel. And I thought I'd show you because for me, it has a great, um, a great meaning actually. What you can see in the middle here is that there's a little flower fairy sitting on a snail. And um, I've been feeling a bit like sitting on the snail the last couple of weeks because there are things that may be uh, ready to change in my life but there are all sorts of blocks on the way or seeming blocks and I've been a bit confused as to whether to move forward with some things uh, and it felt like, um, like a bit of a, a slow thing happening and this card reminds me uh, that there's great help from the spirit world because here you see that this little fairy is pushing the snail onwards and this little fairy is showing the way so for me this card meant that all is happening in due time and it's important to trust the process and to trust spirit and to to keep your eye on the road and uh, and your eye on the signs and the nudging you get from spirit and I wanted to show you this because I have a feeling this is important for many of us and as you can see to the right there's a there's a butterfly and a rose. Now a rose for me signifies inner beauty and a butterfly signifies transformation and I think that in these times of change um, we as light workers when we stick to our path of light we are, are bound to reawaken the inner beauty and to find true transformation in our lives. So I just wanted to share that with you before we uh, get ready for the actual oracle reading. All right then, let's see. And we've got one of the seven chakra fairies. I'll show her up close. There she is. This is the fairy of the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. And that being the case, this is the fairy of communication. And what the fairy of communication wants to tell us is that it is important to be open-hearted and open-minded while we speak our truth. So you can sort of imagine that um, open-minded is about the sixth chakra and open-hearted about the fourth and that, you know, our throat chakra is bang in the middle of that. So it's important to be open-minded and open-hearted. It's the only way, I think, to speak your truth, really. Um, and to do this, we need to be honest with ourselves and it is time to be assertive and to make sure that our needs are expressed and met and uh, we need to do this in a clear yet constructive way. So this fairy holds the energy of the throat chakra and inspires you to be both creative and honest in expressing yourself. And you can do this in many ways, not only through the spoken word, but you can do this by singing and by writing and by making art and uh, teaching, poetry, you name it, you can do it. And uh, if you have a problem with this, you can also ask this fairy and the Archangel Gabriel for help with communication. This fairy tells us everything is interconnected. We are all in constant connection. We breathe the same air, we walk on the same planet, we consist of the same sort of atoms and molecules and we are born from the same stardust. So it is through interconnectedness we are already communicating with everything around us without being aware of it. So all we need to do now is be aware of this interconnectedness. By seeing the sameness between ourselves and the other person, communication will become easier and more flexible. And I think it's important in these times to be transparent. You see lots of things happening, people speaking up for themselves in Egypt, WikiLeaks uh, making all sorts of things more transparent. And I think that's um, something of this time, to be 
more transparent. I just got an email from my very best friend who is a light worker like I am and on the spiritual path like I am. And she just um, sort of come out of the spiritual closet at work, which is rather strange as she's working in a in a setting where that's not very usual to do and I think that's really what we're heading towards it's time for us I've, I've said this before it's time for us to to follow our inner truth and that is what 2011 is about and it may be something that takes a while reminding us of the little snail with the fairy on top uh, in my life it's going a bit slow and I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> I want to know where things are headed and I want to have control over it but it's just not happening at the moment. So it's important I think to be in the moment, see in this moment what needs to be expressed with love and integrity and, and take it step by step. So I'm wishing everybody a great week of openness, open-heartedness, open-mindedness and of speaking your own truth and making sure that you express what you need to express and make sure that you express what you need to express to get your needs met, which is very important. All right, so that's it for the coming week. I wish everybody the best of luck with that and we will speak next week. Bye-bye.